I'm out of breath from running back and forth to the truck to get my radio and different stuff, but I glassed up a cat. John and Ryan, they, uh, they hauled ass to that hill. They're on the ridge. We got a low light. I think they're getting set up. And then uh, hopefully we can get this cat just to stand up real fast. Um, so, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. There's a truck coming. Hopefully it's going out. They're going further up the wash or something because I don't know if we have truck keys. My truck is blocking the way over there. There's another car coming. Sorry, dude. You're sending it? Yep, you're shooting right in the head. Yeah, one sec. Okay, go for it. He put his head down. There he is. Shoot him. Uh, his head's right there on the right. Hold on one second. The cat is right in that bush, right there. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't care about that. His head's down, but the same spot. Once I see him stretch his neck out again. Almost out of light. I'm about to put one in that hole. See if it comes out. It should, the bullet should drop. There he is. Yep. I don't know what part of that him that is, but. He's dead. He's dead. He's rolling on his side with his feet up in the air. Feet are in the air, kicking, tail's wagging, he's still on the side. Holy crap, he's kicking. He's all twisted up in that vine. One hell of a shot. Holy crap. Hell yeah, you got him, man. Hell yeah, man. Did I just kill a lion? Yeah, there's a lion dying up there. Oh my gosh. We just killed a cat. That's his head laying to the right? Yep. Can I see through your binos? Yeah. Sorry for the foul language on the video. Oh, I had a pause. Look at this guy. I just killed a lion at last light. Oh, thank you. Are you freaking kidding me? We just killed a cat. Oh my gosh, dude. I am so jacked. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I keep sure that there's not any movement, but oh my gosh. I would have. You come out here all the time. Oh, I hope we see a cat. Let's glass a cat. We're looking for cats. And you have to be shitting me. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Ryan.
Nice freaking shot, man. Come on, man. Nice Um, question, did John leave the keys in the truck? No. I haven't seen uh, footage, or, uh, him move in a little while, so I think I think he's a goner, man. That's what we're thinking also. Dude, solid spot, brother. Dude, I just saw the ears flicker, and I was like, that is not a freaking deer. And then he sat up. And I just saw this orange head, and I'm like, that's a freaking cat, man. He's dead, dude. He's dead. Do you have a big canyon over there, or is it pretty shallow? It's not as big as the one we just crossed. We'll hook him, get the truck, and then we'll go get the cat. Okay, that sounds good. Fucking congratulations, man. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. That was a total team effort, man. Good on you to freaking run up that damn hill and be able to calm down and shoot, man. Dude, and all I could do is see his face. I put it between his eyes. Oh, really? Yeah, I had no body shot. His head kept coming up, his head kept coming up. So I kind of put it on his eyes, figuring if it's a little low, it'll be in the chest. Well, hopefully it didn't destroy his face. <laughs> Man. Oh, All right. So 550 yards. Exactly. Oh, I can see. Was its neck and its head over... Rock, that think. rock right there. Nope, this rock right here by his back feet. That's all I could make out. So I put the crosshairs right on her head. Wow. There's a pause on those things. Congratulations. Thank you. Look at that tail. <laughs> That's a big cat. People dream of these ones. Yeah. Just seeing them. Still can't believe how perfect that shot is. I told you all I could see was this rock, and I could see its face over this rock. I think it was on the other side of that. No, this should be the middle vine. Remember, we were going off of vines. We were looking from that direction. That would have been the one on the right. Oh, I see the one you're talking and about. And this now. is the middle. Oh, all okay. I could see was this rock consistently. Yeah. And I kept seeing her head come up, and then back down, and I could see her roll around and playing in the dirt. And then she sat up, and I went, "All right, I'm shooting." It almost looks like she frequents this. Like this is the spot, yeah. Oh, there's a ton of bed deer, or beer, deer beds. Deer poop right below us. Lasted up probably 1,000 yards. Yeah, maybe Ed, 1,200. Yeah. Ed, I can't thank you enough. Really, all both of you guys, man. Ed, you glassed this thing up at 1,000 yards with minimal light. Like that was out of control. And then, John, for, for you to run down that hill and run up that hill with me, and then we picked it up right away. I mean, it was in this little tunnel, um, so we knew where to look. But just the, how fast you picked it up, and I got down in the scope, and it was just all bang, bang, bang. And then we just had to wait for it to sit up. It's wild. And I'm like, so we're glassing from this hill over here, and I'm like... Uh, a couple hundred yards around the corner. Actually, I had gone like a mile and I lost radio contact. So I thought, what's the point in glassing for bucks over here if we don't have radio contact where I can get a hold of Ed? Right so then I started coming back till I got radio service. And then 10 minutes later, Ed goes, hey, if you can hear me, get over here. I just kind of thought we were packing up. And I'm dilly-dallying down the street. And uh, Ed goes, hurry your ass up, get over here. So I take off running. And then 
everything I just told you. It was a fast. It was, it was like, the, and we were, we were a quarter mile at least up that hill on the other side. And John and I didn't even follow the road. We just bombed through the desert, got to the bottom. Then we had to climb up this giant ridge. And I think we made it down and up this ridge. Like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 15 tops. Oh, that's <clears> deep ridge. And it was just like, got up there. As we got to the top, I kind of had to like chill out a little bit so I could catch my breath. Laid right down in Choya. I was covered in Choya. It was all worth it though. Then as we're coming down the hill, we get to the bottom and there's three illegals at the bottom. I thought we were gonna come in contact with them. Border Patrol's already chasing them up the hill in a helicopter or trucks or where they had everything going around here. What a turn of events, man. We got a lion. <laughs> this is the first one I've ever glassed up. Had one run through my quad headlights one time, but never seen one other than that. My first time seeing one. And we're going to eat. We're going to eat this girl. Unbelievable. Okay. Yep. Thanks a lot, guys. You're welcome, man. Yeah, Heck of a shot. 550. Shooter shoot, man. Shooter shoot. 550. <laughs> I had a headshot, and that's what I got. You don't want to be in Ryan's crosshairs. <laughs> that is awesome. He, he, he ain't going to miss.